Howdy. This problem states that in the last century, the average age of the onset of puberty for girls decreased by several years. Urban folklore has it that this is because of uh, hormones fed to beef cattle. But it is more likely to be because modern girls have more body fat on average, and possibly because of estrogen mimicking chemicals in the environment from the breakdown of pesticides. A hamburger from a hormone implanted steer has about 0 0.2 nanograms of estrogen. about double the amount of natural beef. A serving of peas contains about 300 nanograms of estrogen. An adult woman produces about 0 0.5 milligrams uh, per day of estrogen. And you notice that these ones are milligrams, these ones are nanograms. So uh, the first question is, how many hamburgers would a girl have to eat in one day to consume as much estrogen as an adult woman's daily production? All right, so we have this information to uh, 0.2 nanograms will be uh, 0 0.2 times 10 to the negative nine grams. And this is also equal to two times 10 to the negative 10 grams. This one is gonna be 300 times 10 to the negative nine grams, nanograms. Uh, but this one is times, uh, uh, 300, so we can say that it's equal to three times 10 to the negative seven grams. And this one is 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative three, this is milligrams, right? So this is the same as five times 10 to the negative four grams. Okay, so we're just doing, um, using a bit of scientific notation over here. So an adult woman, as we have this information, so I'm going to um, erase it so that I have more space. Adult woman is five times 10 to the negative four grams per day. So how many burgers, number of burgers per day um, are required? Well, this will be equal to uh, five times 10 to negative four grams per day. We have day on both sides, so we can get rid of the days. And we actually know the estrogen content of a burger 
and we're looking for the number. So uh, we can just move the burgers over here. Right, and a burger has uh, two times 10 to the negative 10 grams. This is a number, number of burgers. Uh, you have grams uh, on the denominator and denominator, so you can cancel them out. Right, and this is just a unitless number. So burgers, number of burgers has no units, right? It's just a number. So then this one is gonna be uh, 2.5 times 10 uh, to the negative six, right? So you have negative over here in the denominator. So you can move it as 10 to the 10 in the denominator. And this is 84 times 10, um, uh, actually positive six. All right, so the number of burgers is 2.5 million, which is a lot. So, um, Crowell is likely correct that the decrease in the uh, onset of puberty is not because of eating uh, hormones in beef. So an interesting point uh, to notice is that the solutions uh, on the homework says uh, 2 million and we got 2.5 million. And um, the discrepancy is because of significant figures. So there's one significant figure here and one over here. So really, we only have one significant figure over here, right? So this will be 2 million. You know, um, I think either way, 2.5 or uh, 2 million. Is, is fine. Rigorously speaking, you know, if you if you really care about your significant figures, it should be two. So part B uh, asks how many servings uh, of peas, and well, the procedure is going to be the same, uh, except that the number, so the um, estrogen content of a serving of peas is higher. So uh, I'm going to have number uh, of servings, servings of peas, and uh, per day, we want to know the daily intake that is necessary. So that's going to be equal to five, five times 10 to 84 grams divided by day. Again, we get rid of the days. And we want number of servings. Uh, we want number. So we can put the serving content over here. And it was three times 10 to the negative seven uh, grams. of estrogen in a serving of peas. Um, so we can just put the number over here. And this is gonna be equal to 1.66, right? Um, times 10 to the three, uh, the grams go away. The, cancel each other out. This is just a number as expected. Number of servings has no units, it's just a number. You know, no meters, no seconds. Um, 
So this is going to be 1,666. And the answer says 2,000. And the reason is the same. You have one significant figure here. So you know, really, you should only use one significant figure here. And you should round up because it's closer to two. So 2,000 servings. You know, either um, 1,600 or 2,000, um, I, I think is, is reasonable. So, you know, there's, um, I guess the cool thing about this problem is that it allows you to, in this case, debunk, but you might have confirmed, you know, something else, uh, debunk uh, an urban myth about, uh, in this case, the consumption of hormones in beef. Doesn't mean that you should not try to eat better, but, you know, it's probably not going to, um, to affect your, your hormone levels. All right, so I hope you like that. <laughs>